To access the library's specific database collections, uh, rather than searching using the search box on the home page, you can actually click the word databases here just above. This opens up a full list of databases available through the university. Um, it's a very large list, so often I recommend uh, students check out one or more of the popular databases listed here in the right hand column or use the subject drop down menu to find a database that's relevant to their area of study. Under education we can see there's a list of uh, two best bets we call them as well as a number of other databases you can connect to. Um, we're going to connect to the ERIC database and see what that one uh, has available. There are a few different interfaces that you'll find depending on what company we uh, subscribe to. Um, but here ERIC is uh, part of the ProQuest suite of databases, so it looks like the, all the ProQuest databases. Um, there's a search box here that you can enter in search terms um, to see uh, what materials in education match your, uh, your terms. You can also use the advanced search um, and be more specific about where you'd like to, to search for your terms, as well as some other um, ways to refine your search down below. In your search results, you can see information about the sources that you found, um, as well as possibly a link to the full text of the article, or a Get Access button where you can see which other databases may have a copy of the full text of that article. To use the Get Access button, simply click on it. It will search through the library's collections of databases to see which one has the full text copy of that article. In this case, we have the full text available through Taylor & Francis, which is another database we subscribe to. If I click on View Full Text, it'll open up that database um, to that article that then I can access and view online.